Hi there and welcome to Seacoast. Today we're going to be going through how you can set up your WP Mail SMTP. It's going to be primarily if you've ever had problems with sending mail, receiving mail, this is going to sort out all of these problems because you need to set up a few configurations first. So the first thing that we're going to do is come over to WP Mail SMTP. If you don't have this, simply go up to your plugin section, head on over to Add New and search for WP Mail SMTP. Once you install it and activate it, you'll then see it pop up on the left hand side. Now let's just go through straight to the settings option. First of all, let's make sure it's coming through from the right email. So what email do you want this to come from? If you use Seacoast for your WordPress hosting as well, you can get yourself a free business email right here, coming over to the email accounts and then creating your email down here. As you can see, I've got info at fitness24.cloud. So I'm gonna be copying over that email because this is what I want the email to be from. You can also choose to force the email to make sure in case any other plugins are trying to interfere, that it's still coming from the particular email that you set. For the from email, you can also force the from email in case any other plugins try to interfere. And the same with the from name. I'm going to leave this as fitness information and training and I'm going to click this to force name just to make sure that no other plugins change this. Next up, we're going to go over to the send in blue and tick this. Come down a little bit further and you're going to find that you're going to need your API keys and your sending domain. To do this, go over to get send in blue now. It's for free. Sign up, simply use the email that you have for your domain or any other email you want to sign up with and sign up for free. Create a password, use the email again, and then go to create an account. You're going to need to confirm an email that they're going to send to your email address. Again, if you're using Seekerhost, head on over to your email section and just press the blue button here to go to your mailing service. You're going to see that you have some emails in here to complete your registration. Just go ahead to confirm my email address. And then here you can fill in your private information. Another thing before you move on to this step is just verifying your number. So just make sure that you put in your correct number, they'll send you a code and then you can verify it to move on to this step. Next up, choose your company or website name. You can click here to enter the data manually if you're not a well-known company and then proceed to the next stage. Make sure that your postal or zip code is typed in correctly and in capitals. Fill in the rest of the information and press save. So at this point, you can now choose the free plan. If you do want to go for any of the further plans as you grow, you can go ahead and select that plan. So I'm just gonna go ahead with continue with the free plan. Now that we've got our account here on Send in Blue, we're gonna to go to the top right where it says your domain and we're gonna come down to SMTP and APIs to get our first API key. On the top right, come to create a new API key, type in the name for your API key and then hit generate. Once this is generated, you can then go ahead and copy the API key over, head on back to your settings and we can go and paste this into the API section for the API key. At this point, go down and save because we're gonna to need to move over to another section to sort out the sending domain. The sending domain is just under the API key and I do thoroughly suggest doing this as well. It only takes another minute just to get it much more configured, making sure that it's coming to people's inboxes. Now to sort out your sending domain, press OK on this box to come back and come to the top right of the page one more time and click the drop down menu. From here, we're going to go to senders and IP. From senders and IP, we're going to go to domains. We're going to go to add new domain on the top right. At this point, we're going to need to enter in our domain. So I'm just going to paste the domain there. I'm going to leave this unchecked because you have to add in a load more information. However, I find this method to work really well without having to add in the extra documents or go anywhere near your DNS settings. So let's just go ahead and hit save. Now, what we need to do is copy the code that you're going to be given here. Make sure that you don't get space on the end and you just copy the code itself. The easiest way to do this is opening up your notepad. I'm going to go to file. I'm going to go to save as. I'm going to save it onto my desktop and you take out any name that it has there and we're going to go paste and we're going to call it exactly what the document told us to call it so we can verify it now just hit save what you're going to see in the folder that you put it in is now a file that looks like this like an internet page icon and it's going to have the code underneath make sure that the code is exact if you have downloaded this twice and it has brackets too you need to make sure that you delete one so it shows it exactly as the name is uh, of here of where you copied it from back to your wordpress site and make sure again that you have saved after you put the api key we're just going to have to move over to your wp file manager Again, if you don't have WP File Manager, you're going to have to go to your plugins and you can download it for free. It's WP File Manager. We're going to go to Public HTML, I'm going to right hand click, and I'm going to go to Upload Files. Go to Select Files, or you can drag and drop it in there. And I'm going to go over to my desktop and I'm going to select the file that we just renamed. Now, with that uploaded to your Public HTML, we can come back over to our Send in Blue account and we can click the file hosted. Please verify it. This might take anywhere between 10 seconds and a minute. And then once it's done, it will say configured and you can go to I'm done. From here, we're going to go and we're simply going to copy your domain over. Come back over to your WP Mail SMTP. 
Go to your sending domain, paste your domain into there and hit save. Now all the hard work is done, you can go over to email test and just make sure that your test email is going through. Choose an email to send it to and hit send email. As you can see there, it took around one minute or less. Uh, your first email might take a few minutes depending. After that, they tend to come through pretty nicely. But as you can see, info at fitness24.cloud. If I click that, we're going to see that the test email has now come through nicely. So thanks for watching. I hope that's helped set up your WP mail SMTP.